Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another day of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. It's the first of Slug's Loots. It's weird. It's weird. So I talked about this in the book reading that I did yesterday, but in case you missed it, um, I patched the game at the end of, um, at the end of day 77, where it was already the first of Sun's Dusk, and it, the patch fixes the calendar issue, wherein the game thinks there's only 30 days in October, whereas there's actually 31, um, but it doesn't, how do I say this? If it's already it's already the first of Sun's Dusk, it's not going to fix it. If it was the 30th of Sun's Dusk, and then we wait until the next day, it would fix it. But, for future months, which I do believe November actually has 30 days, and the game thinks it has 31 days, I assume that's fixed. Also, January should be there, which it wasn't even, didn't even exist in the original game. So, and, oh, and also, actually, now that I think about it, we need to take this off. But the thing is, it doesn't, it doesn't decrease my hour rating anyway. So, who cares? How's your government? It's pretty full. I think we actually left something back. Look, I need to... I need to go to the Rishkuku camp. I need to get that quest done. I need to get back to Balmoral. And... Uh, that's the end of my story. <laughs> what am I holding right now? I'm holding the silver shard blade. Because the fire blade has no charge in it. That makes sense. Can we beeline to the exit? Yeah, well, to the exit, what? Well, I mean, you could follow the same path that you did there. And that would 100% get you where you need to go. I don't know if that's something you'd like to do. Do I have music right now? I have sound. Yes, I can say that. I'm saying. Oh, it's sleepy. I'm, uh, finding less and less chances to actually record, which is, um, a problem when you need to record every day. It's almost like doing a Morrowind playthrough is a bad idea. Uh, well... Hmm. No, I, I disagree with that. Um, are you running right now? I am, look at me. Look at me run. Running like a barrage. Can you just go north, please? Stop looking other directions, just go north. Oh, by the way, you should heal. You mean that thing I can't do right now? Oh. Because I've already... Hey, are these things that have respawned? I don't know, are they? What time is it again? It's like 4 a.m. It's probably like 5... Nope, still 4 a.m. <laughs> Never mind that. Oh, there's the town. It's right there. There's a rack. Let's shoot the rack with a firebolt. You wanna go? You wanna go? Yeah, I don't think so. What do you mean you didn't think so? He he wanted to go, dude. <laughs> he was ready to go. Don't you dare sing that Nelly song again. It's sad that you know it's nearly now. Yeah, I had no idea who the hell sang that song until I looked up the frickin' lyrics. Because <laughs> I had to know. Oh, yeah, you had, you had to know, right? Oh, what is that? Does that do damage? Yeah. It does frost damage, I think. Ooh. <laughs> nice. I like it. My armor running went up too. Cool. Cool bananas. How much does this uh, this frost thing uh, do for damage? 
125. That's actually really good. Yeah, it is. As long as it's above 5, I guess. Uh, who am I talking to to get this fucking mission credit? Uh, it's a great question. I don't remember. Channel, please. A dream that I told that is not what I wanted. No, I don't care about my dreams. Right, is there a... Why is talk... You have no standing among us that let us speak. Huh? Why is talk a friggin' uh, hyperlink? That's weird. Whatever, anyway. Anyway, she sent me to the barrel chairs to fetch me. Okay, so, so Matul, who is the wise woman, wants me, wanted me to get the bow. Okay, great. Let's get another bow. Let's get out of here. Where is she? Who are you? Are you? You're not who I want. Go north. This well, it's the opposite direction of where you're going. Wonderful. Don't sniff at me. You bastard. Is this it? <laughs> Hello. Are you wait, are you the person? Oh my fucking god, what? 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 So my tool got is Oh no. You just figured out what's happening here? Yeah, I just did a mission for the 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 chieftain guy. Souls the chieftain guy, and then doing a mission for the chieftain guy is gonna get on his good side, and then he's going to let me talk to the wise woman who we were just looking at. Oh my god, you're fucking right. I'm gonna do another fucking quest, aren't I? Because you gotta do a quest for like every single person you talk to in this village. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. So, Orlando, uh, have you completed the initiation right? Yeah, I did. This is my father's bone by the bow. You have completed the initiation right. I name you Leo, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow. No, I don't want it. Please take it. I'll sell it. Can I sell it? Are you, am I going to get into trouble if I sell it? Uh, bear it with honor. You are a friend of our tribe and may rest in Ushkul. Oh, yay! We can sleep in beds now. But do not harm other tribe members or take other things. Now I will fulfill my other promise. Go to the wise woman's yacht and blah, blah, blah. will examine you and test you other never any purposes. Now that you are clear, friend, I want to speak plainly. Okay. I find it hard to believe that you are the Naravine. Oh. You are an outlander. Yeah, but I'm a freaking Dunmar. That's fucking racist bastards. But the Naravine comes to drive... Oh, yeah. You are an outlander, but the Naravine comes to drive all outlanders from Morrowind. How could an outlander be the incarnate? Well, the world works in mysterious ways, I guess. The great houses stole our lands and mocked us with false gods. The godless outlanders steal our land and our dignity. The narrow ravine is the last hope of the Ashlanders have. I will let no outlander steal this hope from us. Alright, well that's fine. These are serious words, Leo. Words of life and death. I see honor and merit in you. I am proud to name you clan friend. But take care what you say and do in the name of the Naravine. Now go question of any Massa and learn what she can tell you. Thanks, I guess. Sure I don't want this bow? Like, I don't want it. You can... You can keep it if you like. Alright then. Alright, where are we going? What time is it? Uh, it's 5 a.m. Why is it legal here? Can't I sleep wherever I want now? I mean... Where are we going north? 
to the wise woman's hut, which is this one right here. I'm going to save the gate before I do this. Just in case. Just in case what? I had a really hard time, like, naming yesterday's episode. Or you just, you didn't, no. What? I just didn't number it. Oh, okay. Because it doesn't need a number. Oh, you know what else? You know what else is like, hilarious that I found out after I finished the recording? It's that, um... I think I was talking about yesterday about how I wanted to read that book because that book was the book that I had to do for a quest and I had to give it to someone and I would have lost the book. Um, I also doubly thought that was the case because when I looked up the book in my uh, my Elder Scrolls like book app that I've got on my phone, I couldn't find the book. Guess what? That wasn't it. Wasn't that book that I did for that quest? I I made that reading ages ago. I recorded it back when I did that quest because I knew that I would lose the book. And when I watched, I watched myself talking in that episode, talking about, I don't know when this video is going to come out. I, I assume I'll, I'll just release it whenever I need to do a book reading or something like that. Well, yeah. What on earth am I looking at? You're looking at Gary O'Donoghue, Washington correspondent for the BBC. Uh, the wife is watching BBC World News. And this guy, there is something wrong with his head. His right eye and his left eye are at different heights on his face. They're also slanted in complete opposite directions. I think he has a condition. Well, good for him. Being on TV with a face like that. Mean. I am mean. People are mean to me. I'm mean to, I'm mean to people. It's fair enough. Alright, uh, hey, Navani. So, they've told me of you, Outlander, or shall I say, clan friend. You are hard headed and ignorant, I am. But perhaps it is not your fault. My lord, Ashkan, says you will ask me about the Nervine prophecies. He also says I will test you against the Nervine prophecies. I must do as my lord Ashkan says. So, ask your questions and I will test you. There are many Nerovine prophecies and they suggest many things. Aspect and uncertain parents. The moon and star. Sleepers. Seven curses. The curse is Bane. The prophecy of the stranger. The prophecy of the seven visions. The lost prophecy. Seven visions? How many... Visions have I had so far. Dude, the champion of fucking arena had visions. And it was just, um... I forgot what her name was. Just, like, talking to us in her death or whatever. Was she dead? Was she in oblivion? I don't remember. Ask me these things if you are patient. If you would be wise. Or if you are impatient to know, just ask. Do I pass the test of the Nervine prophecies? Go ahead, Atlanta. I am the wise woman. Ask your questions and I will answer. Uh, what do you got about this uncertain parents? I know who my parents are. If what you say is true, you are indeed born on an uncertain day of uncertain parents. This is part of the prophecy, but many have, have the same birthday and many are not sure of their parents. It is interesting, but does not make you the nerve in. Fair enough. What about the moon and star? Legend says Indriel Navarre's family, family standard, bore the moon and star, and Navarre's armor and weapons bore the sign. You know why that was? We read about it in the book yesterday. Yeah, we did. It's because the moon and star was the keening and sending. I don't know which is which, but... Yeah. If I remember correctly, the king was the moon. You saw the book. Not on me. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Some say he bore a moon and star birthmark. Did he really? Or was that just bullshit? Some say he has a magic ring marked with moon and star. 
I think that's actually a, an item in the game. Is it? I'm not sure. Others say he was born under a moon and star. Well, I mean... I assume a lot of people were born under a moon and star. I assume they were born at night time. And with... Uh, 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 I almost said Morrowind. With uh, Tamriel... No, not Tamriel, actually. It's the planet. Nern. Having, like, how many moons does Nern have? More than one. Yeah. In fact, if I went outside right now, would I be able to find a moon? Let's find out. Anyway. In any case, yes, that's exactly what I want to say. I think the moon and star is the mark of the Naveen. You do not have this mark, so you are not the Naveen. Well, what if I, uh, Uh, what if I, uh... Oh, I can't see the moon because it's daytime now. Fuck. Uh, what if I, um... What are you talking about? Um, what if I, like, got a tattoo of, like, a moon and star? Would that... Would that actually be enough? I seriously doubt it. Uh, I got more stuff to talk to you about. Namely... What's this about sleepers? Rumors say that in towns, mad cultists called sleepers are attacking people, saying that Dagatha has awakened and will drive the Outlanders from Morrowind. Perhaps it's just a coincidence, but I think this is a sign of the Nerevin. Not necessarily a sign that you are the Nerevin. Perhaps the time of the Nerevin has come, and you have come at the same time. It is not passing a test. So this is not passing a test. But it may mean you have some part to play in the coming of the Nevein. What a good it's Dagatha. Dagatha is the devil and the enemy. Dagatha and his beasts and servants are the source of many evils that beset the Dunman Morrowind. Dagatha dwells in fiery caverns between Mount Red Mountain. Served by his kin called Ash Vampires and Visions of deformed monsters. Am I going to have to fight vampires at some point in this game? Probably. Tell me about these seven curses, eh? It is another Atlanta prophecy of the Nervine. It is called the Seven Curses of the Shamat. But I do not know it. Oh, okay. You're not a very wise woman, are you? And I know no one who does. Oh. It may be lost. Such things happen. A wise woman dies, or forgets, or a clan is wiped out. Perhaps someone knows, but is keeping it secret. Perhaps it is in one of those many books for your settled peoples. I have heard that the dis dissident priests of the temple may have such books. Hey, the dissident priests, I remember that. Okay. The Seven Curses. Well, it's not the five songs of Wolfgrad. No. No, it's not. Um. Oh, what's going on in Hong Kong right now? They are live in Hong Kong. What is it, 9 p.m. now? Oh, what time is it really? It's like 3 in the morning for me. Oh, apparently they're just doing some more protests. Uh, you yeah. know, that Bethesda thing was hilarious. Yeah, yeah let's not get into that. All right, whatever. What's 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 this thing about a stranger? This is the best known in Norway, but recall. Okay, talk to me. Oh, a poem. When the earth is sundered, ha ha ha, sundering, the yeah, the hammer, and skies choked black. And sleepers serve the seven curses. To the hearth there comes a stranger, journeyed far near moon and star. Though stark born to sire uncertain, his aspect marks, marks his certain fate. Uh huh. What else you got? Uh. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him. Uh, 
Wait, the righteous cursing? Yeah, because fuck the, fuck the religion. Yeah. Prophets speak, but all deny. So no one's gonna, no one's gonna, you know. Oh god, there's more to it. Many trials make manifest the stranger's fate, the curse's bane. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fail, but one remains. Alright. What does that have to do with anything? Any other... Uh, seven Visions. Yeah, talk, talk to me about this. It is another Ashland of prophecy of the Nervine. It is called the Seven Curses of the Shemat. Wait, what? That's not... That's not what I clicked, dumbass. I wanted the Seven Visions, not Seven Curses. The full title of the prophecy is The Seven Visions of Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Listen, and I will tell you the verses. Yeah. What do you got? Seven trials. What he puts his hand to, that shall be done. What is left undone, that shall be done. This is like rules of the internet. Uh, first trial. On a certain day to uncertain parents, incarnate moon and star reborn. Well, did that. Second trial. Neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. The fuck does that mean? Third trial. In caverns dark, Azura's eyes see and makes to shine the moon and star. So, what does that mean? I have no idea what that means. In caverns dark, Azura's eyes see. Go to the temple of Azura? Isn't actually, isn't, wait a minute, isn't the an artifact of Azura's? Hey, does this game have artifacts? I don't even know. I'll have to look into that. Fourth trial, a, a stranger's voice unites the houses. Three houses, sorry, three halls, call him ho ho Tato. These are obviously things I need to do with the game, I guess. A stranger's hand unites the Velothi. Four tribes call him Nerevine. So I need to... Oh god, am I going to have to do, like, individual quests for three different houses? Four individual quests for the Velothi people, whoever they are. And the sixth trial, he carries blood of the tribes, tribe unmourned. He eats their sin and is reborn. Don't know what that means. Seventh trial. His mercy frees the cursed false gods, binds the broken, redeems the mad. One destiny. He speaks the law of the lost people. He speaks for their land the name, and names them great. What does this prophecy mean? It tells us who the Nevaeh will be. And the trials he must undergo before he fulfills his destiny. Some parts I understand, other parts I do not. Well, that makes two of us. I will answer your questions as best as I can, but I cannot pretend to understand it all. The incarnate cannot fail. What others have tried, he will do. What no verse started, the incarnate will finish. In ancient days, the Deep Elves and a great host of outlanders from the west came stealing the land of the Dunma, and at that time, Nova was a great Khan and war leader of the House People. House People? Yes. But he honored the ancient spirits and the tribal lord and became as one of us. So when Nova pledged upon his great ring of the ancestors, one clan under moon and star, I remember that, to honor the ways of the spirits and rights of the land, all the tribes joined the house people, fighting a great battle at Red Mountain. Though many Dunmer drivesmen and horsemen died at Red Mountain, you know what you really should have done? It's too late now, but you really should have done this. You should have done this in yesterday's episode. Well, I'm glad I read that book, because that book yesterday was 
really interesting. It was, it was. It's just, you could have spent an entire day without time progressing, reading all this shit, and then actually done a proper episode, like, I don't know, today? Well, now I have to do both today. Well, yeah, I need water. There's water here. I was gonna fuck up my throat. Too late for that, really. Anyway, where was I? Though, though many dumb, yeah, though many Dunmer tribesmen and housemen died at Red Mountain, the Dwemer were defeated and their evil magics destroyed, and the Outlanders are driven from the land. But after this great victory, the power-hungry cars of the Great Houses slew Nerva in secret, set themselves up as gods and forgot Nerva, Nerva's promises to the tribes. But Nerva will come again and cast out the false gods, and by the power of his ring, will make good his promise, promises, honor the spirits, and drive the outlanders from the land. What an amazing story. Right, let's talk about the trials. This refers to your birth sign. To your birth on a certain day to uncertain parents, just like the stranger's prophecy. In terms of persons, that of Okay. Seems pointless. Alright, second trial. Yeah, what does this mean? I'm not sure what this means. Oh. Great. Will the Nervine come as a spirit who is not harmed by blight or age? I do not know. I think curse of flesh means the blight disease corpus, which causes terrible distorted growths on its victims. Guess what? I'm not immune to that shit. No. You, uh... You've been... Yeah owned by a couple of times by that one. Anyway, um... Perhaps the Nervine can heal this disease. Perhaps that will be a sign of the Nervine. So I need to be able to cure blood disease? Well, you know what? I can do that. Can I? I have a potion. Is that the same thing? Don't really know. Uh, what have you got for third trial? In legend, there, are, there is a shrine of Azure called the Cavern of the Incarnate. There are many secrets I may not tell you about in this cavern. Do not ask. Oh. Alright. Well, I guess I won't ask then. Good boy. Yeah. Uh, what's the uh, fourth trial then? A Hortator is a war leader chosen when Dunmer Great Houses must put aside their normal feuds, and unite against a common enemy. This has not happened since the Empire of our land. When you say it, you mean First Era? Maybe. The Ashlanders are sometimes called the Velothi, for the prophet Veloth, who guided us to this land many, many centuries ago. And the four tribes are the four tribes of Vardenfell, the Yeruskukuku, the Ahemusa, the Zainab, and the Arabanism. Do I have to talk to all four of these people? Yeah, of course you do. Well, I'm already friends with the Yeruskuku, I guess. Are you? Sure. It would truly be a miracle to unite these four tribes who have so long raided and warred with one another, but the Nervine must be the one who performs miracles. I'm going to read this in silence because I need to give my, uh, my mouth a rest. Okay, so they've got they've got the same person as their their Ash Khan and their wise woman. Can't break the rules, is it? 
Dash line is a design app tribe. Uh, sly and crafty. The camp is in the interior of the grasslands. Okay, so I guess I need to find all these people. Yes, the Babblers of Morag Mal. Or was it Morag Mal? What? No, it wasn't. What? Malekith. It's Malekith. What are you talking about? I think it was yesterday I was talking about how orcs have a god. Yeah, it's Malekith. It's a Dajic, Dajic Prince. Anyway, moving on. Oh boy. Save me. Uh, the rep uh, love their weapons above all else. The rash can, whatever the fuck, is cruel and ambitious. And his Gulak fans are just like him. The wise woman, Manui, is cautious and reasonable. Seek her counsel. Don't waste your speech on the war challenge. Okay. Good enough. Who's that? Who's the fist trap? Um. Oh, it's already gone. <sighs> sleepy, I am. I'm quite sleepy. I talked to him about his disturbing dreams. These dreams are the tricks of Dagatha. He speaks to you, but you must resist. He bends his power to compel you, but you must resist. You are in danger, but your heart is wise. Heed your heart, do not hear the words of Shamat, for it will drive you mad. Okay. Can you talk to me about these, uh, these, uh, trials? Okay. Alright, where were we? Uh, the sixth trial. What's the deal with that one? I'm not sure. The tribe unmourned may mean the sixth house, House Dagoth, which was exterminated after the Battle of Red Mountain, but it may also mean the Dwemer, or the Dwarves as the rest of us call them, and eating sin. Is doing a atonement atonement for doing another sin. So another's sin. Thank you. Seventh trial. The curse. False gods must be the tribunal. They are surely false gods. Evil sorcerers and necromancers. They murdered Nerva, so they might set themselves up as gods. Binds the broken. Must refer to Nerva's. Broken promise to the Ashlanders 
to honor the ways of the spirit and the rights of the land. One destiny for lost people are the Dunmer, all Dunmer, Ashland or Grand Houses. Uh, the time, the last time that the Vrothi have united were with Nerova at the Battle of Red Mountain. Now Nerova has gone against uh, and unite now Nova will come once again, sorry, and unite the Danma. He will escort Morrowind for the Danma and restore the former greatness of the Volothi. Oh, boy. What do you got? Um. Yeah. The wise woman know, knows women, it actually says, it's not woman. It's weird because there's only one in the tent. Uh, know of some prophecies, yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. Okay, so what's information? Who go out to the base camp? Yeah. Why not? Alright, tell me if I pass the test. You are not the Nervine. You are one who may become the Nervine. It is a puzzle and a hard one. But you have found some of the pieces and you may find more. Do you choose to be the Nervine? Then seek the lost prophecies among the distant priests of the temple. Find the lost prophecies, bring them to me, and I will be your guide. And take these copies of the stranger and the seven visions. Now I have told you all that I know. Go think of what you've told, and do what must be done. I have books, apparently. What kind of books? Like book books? Okay, we read that already. Oh, there's all the trials. Gravy. Gravy. And you're absolutely right, I totally should have done this yesterday. It would have been perfect if you'd done it yesterday. Because it's still only 16. <laughs> But I'm tired as fuck. I don't know how long I've been doing this episode for, but Jesus. Do you want to try to record more later? Do this as a two-parter? Wait, so what am I actually doing? I'm going to find the lost prophecies of the distant press. Progress of Truth. Yeah, well, I read that already. Wait, are you telling me you want that book? What book? I think you know what book. Oh, you mean... You mean you want the... The Progress of Truth? Oh my god, is Trump being impeached? Seriously? Wow. <laughs> Sorry, um... How much... I don't have a lot. You don't want to fail the spell, dude. It's fine. Oh, you didn't set a mark! I 
Okay, so I'm going to go back to my house. Wait, do you even have the book? You know what? Let's check. Let's check to make sure that I still have the book. Because you might have lost it because it was a stolen book, remember? Do I have it? I don't think you have it. There it is. You got it? Yeah, I got it. What is this? Oh, okay. Alright, so load the game. Set a freaking no, we need to rest. Yeah, let's let's have a little nappy naps. Can I can I sleep in your place? Apparently I'm allowed to sleep wherever the fuck I want now, so let's rest for eight hours. Oh this this will kill some time. Hell yeah it will. Alright, rest. Set an anchor point. Should I set an anchor point inside or outside? Let's set it outside, just in case. Speak of things that you should do. What's that? My sword. Let me fire my bike. Even though the other one's actually better. Yeah. Even though that. Alright, so owl's mark. No, no, no. Set the mark first. Sorry, my bad. What time is it? 2 p.m. Alright, now owl's Mary intervention. Okay. Uh, might as well sell stuff while we're here. True. Jesus, a lot of stuff to repair there. Do you want to keep this shield? No. You sure though, because it's not actually reducing your... No. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, can I sell this bow now? Yep. Sure can. Great. I have a steel tanto. Uh, which one of these three twigs is the best? 511? 811? Hmm. Okay. Okay. No tantos for you. Except that my new car. It's called a Tanto. Hey, here's a really cool thing that my, 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 my Tanto can do. My car. That I didn't know. Like my old car. Um, if you've got the key, you've got the key of the century thing, you know, the key, essentially. If you've got the key in your pocket, right? You could walk up to the car, there's a button on the door. If you push the button, which you can actually push the button at the same time, hold the handle to open the door like immediately, it'll actually unlock the car for you. So you can unlock and, and lock the car just by pushing that button on the side of the car. It's great. It's really convenient because you don't have to pull your freaking keys out of the car. When I got this new car, I realized that it doesn't have those buttons on the on the, on the the handle. I'm like, oh shit, am I going to have to pull it out? But here's something else that's really cool. That I did not notice. If I'm... Say my car's parked in the, uh, the parking lot of a supermarket. Right? And I'm coming out of the supermarket. I'm walking towards my car. When I get a certain distance from my car, the key is in my pocket. I'm not touching nothing. Maybe my hands are full of groceries. The car will unlock automatically. It's so fucking cool. Then, if I just about face and walk away from the car once I get away from that radius whatever it is it's like five meters it the car will automatically lock itself again that's so fucking cool uh, it's gonna be it's a little bit annoying because like it means that it will like like if I'm doing stuff near my car and I got the keys in the keys in the pocket it'll just keep locking and unlocking itself over and over again which isn't advisable, but isn't that cool? I think that's awesome. Holy shit, look how low your encumberment is now. Oh, also, Dickhead McGee doesn't have enough money. It's the shield. Ah, oh, the shield. Uh, 
Well, I guess I'm going to keep using the shield for a little bit longer. Now, we need to find the, um, I'll save the game, yeah. You are going to leave that shield, right? You know, you're not bringing that shield on adventures anymore, are you? I kind of like it. Does it? Wait, you know what you really need to do? What's that? You really need to find out if, um, uh, God, I can't even speak. Um, you need to find out if, um, oh, hey buddy, can you take me to Alderaan? What time is it? 7pm. Alright, uh, and hey buddy, can you take me to Balmar? And it's still today. Jesus. All right. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't know. What What were you talking about? Wonderful. Do any of these guys have remotely 9,000 gold? I don't think you're going to find someone that'll actually buy it. For that price. None of these guys have anywhere remote to that many, to that much money. Like 600? Yeah. That sucks. So, I mean, I can find a guy with a bunch of money and get as much money as I can from him, but... Yeah, it's... Kind of shitty. What about an armor? What about an armor? I mean, he's got 15 grand, and that's, that's a decent amount, but... You know, it's not 7,800, is it? No, it's not. Alright, uh, what were we talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? Oh, hey, buddy! <laughs> Missed you, man. No, no, sorry, so what are you talking about? I don't know. Talking about the book, you're talking about... What was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah, it happens a, a bit too much, actually. While we're here, can you do me a favor put that book into the... Yeah, well... Hold your... Freaking horses for a second, will you? You know what I really need? What's that? I need another dead body in this house. Is... Wait, what about the... What about the what? Oh, nothing, I guess. So, what's the stranger? It's the... Oh, it's the prophecy. Okay. Do these weigh anything, these notes? They do. Actually. Right, the progress of truth. Uh, so, we read this, right? Yeah, we did. Now, before you do anything, eh, I need you to find uh, the book that we read. Wherever the fuck that is. There it is. Okay. Put that in there. Son of a bitch. That's fine, put it in there. Is this where papers go? Who cares, dude? Alright, you might as well, you might as well save that as a book reading. Your next book reading, so don't get confused. Read the book again. Fair, fair cool, fair cool. Alright, so now that I've got the book and it's still 11 o'clock, I can now use recall after I have gotten all my stamina back. 
Then we can recall back to the Uskuku village. Good plan, good plan. <laughs> that worked surprisingly well. Is she the one I'm supposed to get the book to? Well, I hope so. Um, I got this book. Um. Did I do the thing I was supposed to do? Okay, likes gold. Doesn't really help me. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Am I just... Should I go and unite the tribes or whatever? Maybe... Okay, I th yeah, I think I just have to do stuff myself. So, do you know what this book? Did I just do that for nothing? I mean, nothing is not quite the right answer, but... Can I end this episode now? Well, I need to figure out what the hell I'm going to do next. Well... Should I go talk to some asshole? Um... Hey, what can I actually bother with you? Okay. What are we doing? I don't know. Sell the book, see what happens then. No. Um. Um. What am I doing here? You know, I'm done. Well, I don't know what to do now. Yeah, exactly. What did you want me to look up? Uh, well, I did want you to look up what to do next in the game. Well, I think I need to unite the unite the tribes or whatever. That's what she said. Go to Jay. What are these lost prophecies? It says the seven curses. Is there a book called the seven curses? I don't know, is there? Um, so because it is, uh, the wise women are the memory of the wealthy people, but it is a faulty memory. I have no idea what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna end the upside. Yeah, it's, uh, it seems like it. It's like it's been no, it is been no. Okay, wait, wait, go, what are you doing? Uh, it's out of the game. Sure. Was that, uh, 78? 
Uh, when we get back, uh, I guess we'll play some more of The Elder Scrolls uh, 3 Morrowind. Hopefully I'm not as sleep as I was uh, as I was today. But for now, my name is Lou, and I'll see you next time.